So if we're building a to-do app, we're going to have to have some sort of way for our users to uh, start typing something in on screen, and then we're going to want to capture that somehow. So we're going to kind of you know start programming that out in this video. Now, if you're coming from like a web development background, or if you've done any kind of uh, app dev, uh, dev in the past, you know that um, you know you normally can say like something like input, uh, or you know. With uh, iOS or Android, you might use some sort of like XML to uh, put uh, an input box on the screen so people can start typing in. Um, React Native comes with something called text input, which is like a component primitive. Um, and you know, here's an example of it where you can just start having some stuff um, ready, uh, like a, like a ready-made input box just on screen. All we have to do is import it into uh, our app component here and we can get uh, rolling with it right off the bat. So we're going to want to go up here right after the view text and add another comma and say text input just like that. And right below this text inside the view tags I'm going to say text input and text input is a self-closing tag. So instead of having uh, opening, ta uh, opening text tag, closing text tag, I can just self-close it so you just need to declare it one time. Um, and I'm going to space this guy out because we're going to put some what are known as props inside of here. A prop is basically something that you put inside of that opening tag, similar to how I have a style prop right here on this view tag. We're going to need to put some props inside of that text input tag. Now, if I go ahead and save this and run it, nothing pops up on screen. So uh, some of the other stuff that we've used so far, like the text tag, as soon as we have that on screen and we put some stuff in there, it pops up. Uh, but the text input, there's nothing there yet. And the reason why is because we have to declare some styles on it to, to kind of get it to show up. So we need to say style equals, and I'm going to do, uh, break this one off just like I did for the view style. So I'm going to say styles dot, and I'll call this one um, input style, just like that. And down here, I'm going to say input style. So that's my key and my value is going to be an object filled with some stuff here. And the first thing we want is a height of 40. Uh, this is basically just going to make the text input box 40 pixels in height. The second thing we want is a border color. And uh, in my notes I have gray written down here, but I, let's go with something a little bit more fun than gray. Let's try green. You can choose whatever color you want. And then the last thing you want is a border width. And we'll say that that's going to be one. And basically that just means one pixel border width. So if we save this and run it, um, here's our text box. And we can start typing in it uh, immediately. And you can see that we have this text box is probably about 40 pixels in height. Uh, it has a border color of green. And that border is about one pixel wide. So we just styled and uh, input our first uh, text box with React Native. So, uh, the second thing we probably want on here is like a button, right? We want to have a button on screen that we can press and just start using it right off the bat. Um, React Native also comes with a button uh, built in, and we're going to use that one for this tutorial. In the future, we'll use a different button component, um, but uh, the React Native one is okay for this example. So, I'm just going to go up to the top. I want to import the button, and then down here I can use it. So notice, we're starting to get into a pattern here where anytime we have a component, we import it, then we go down and use it, and then sometimes we go down here and style it. Now, button is also a self-closing tag, just like text input, so I'm going to close that off. Not all button uh, components will be like that, but in the case of the React Native primitive button, um, that's what we have to do. Um, now, inside of here, we're going to want to add in a title, and we're just going to say, this says add to do. So in the case of the button, we have a prop that says title. This is where we're going to put whatever we want that button to, to, to say. So if I go ahead and run this, a button pops up and you'll see it's, it's clickable. Anytime I click it, it kind of has that touchable opacity on it. So if I click it, it kind of looks like I hit the button. Um, if you're testing this out on your phone, it should be working just fine, you know, tapping it. Um, now for this video, I think we're going to cut it short right here. Uh, we have a nice text input on screen and we got a nice button on screen. And we'll start getting into uh, a little bit more uh, building this out in the next video.